Chairs opens tonight at Brisbane City Gallery. It's on for the next eight weeks until the 13th of October. It's also at the Home Show from the 9th to the 13th of October, so you can see a selection of works at both places. range of works here. Um, they're all responding to a brief to design a chair for the 21st century. So they range from the sleek and the whimsical to the sort of methods of recycling and back to basics of life in a stressful age. So yep, it's fun and exciting so come on down. I was asked to put in a proposal for the uh, chair show at Brisbane City Gallery from um, Kirsten and um, I thought okay, all the latest fashion is really about fusion, you know how you have like a couch that's a bookshelf or um, a lounge that's good for a laptop or something. So I thought okay I'll do a fusion too and I thought a fusion between a pair of pants and a chair <laughs> and kind of like a chair of convenience. You might say. Do you have to practice much to do it? A um, bit of Tai Chi helps. Can you walk as normally as possible? <laughs> There's a bit of clanging going on. <laughs> I've, got, I've got to, this is only the, the uh, keep going. what do you call it? The uh, prototype. prototype. So I've got to uh, <laughs> get these legs more, something else, but they're still working. Now sit down. Quite comfy. This opening tonight of 21st Century Chairs is the culmination of 18 months of work by the artists, curators, exhibition staff, design houses, a, a cast of thousands really, and we've just got a band playing in the auditorium. In about half an hour, everyone's going to come in here and get their first look at 21st Century Chairs. It's a showcase of Queensland design, with about 28 of the most skilled and creative local designers. And uh, we've got chairs ranging from sleek, chic, minimal forms to interactive, feral, squealing stools covered in kangaroo fur. How's it all going? Oh, very good. All under control? Head. <laughs> Join you here, Herman. So, tell us a little bit about yourself and this chair. Oh, my name's William McMahon and this is my sofa that I've made, the Colosseum. I've uh, styled this sofa on a building that I saw when I was in Rome. He um, got a friend to go and take some uh, holiday snaps out at the Colosseum and they were then fed into a computer and this is all using Photoshop rendered onto fabric. Um, and it's a s exact scale model of the Colosseum. So uh, for this project I was 21st century chair, so that's what I was looking for, you know, finding a, a balance between current issues of, you know, sustainability, ecology, in, but at the same time something stylish and at the same time the tendency of having furniture that can be indoors or outdoors. So um, this piece, as you see, we have here, this piece is an interior and, and looks pretty good, but it also can work very nicely in, a, in an outdoor setting, say a swimming pool, you know, very nice with the theme, you know. And is it a one uh, No, it's actually... Um, will be produced by uh, FMCA and um, there's a company in Italy 
and they signed an agreement to produce it in, in Europe, so um, it just took off. operating in Australia that I actually think the exhibition program the Brisbane City Gallery is perhaps in the top five and that's no mean feat but then I could be biased but it is tremendous. <laughs> the show that you will see as you walk into the gallery in the, uh, is 21st century chairs. It's an exhibition that's been curated by the curator here Kirsten Fitzpatrick in association or assisted by uh, Holly uh, Arden, and it's 28 Queensland uh, designers drawn from a range of backgrounds such as architecture, industrial design, uh, furniture, furniture makers, artists, um, interior designers, and they've all responded to Kirsten's thought about throwing out the idea of what is a 21st century chair. It's a chair for the 21st century, so therefore the idea or the philosophy was that it has to be quick, sharp, movable, easily accessible, easily movable. It could go in any environment, whether it's a house or whether it's a, uh, 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 a cafe or whether it's a foyer of a, um, uh, of a uh, office, something of that kind. Um, with the light inside, I'll just show you. It's got a battery inside and it's got um, two levels of switch so can be, that's quite dim and that's off and that's the brightest it can go. This is one of the pieces of furniture which were made to investigate into hardwood timbers, not using glue and thinking to be left out in the garden or on the deck and to give a useful service life of in excess of 20 years without any maintenance. The story behind it is really trying to work out if using hardwood we can establish a small boutique industry in Queensland employing rural Queenslanders. Is what I'm on about. Yeah. Okay, here we go. It's a chair pants operation. I'm not sure what okay. gender this is either. Kind of unisex. Maybe along there? Yep. Mm -hmm. Another big baby. Is it going to be sitting or standing? Standing. It is a chair. <laughs> 